Welcome to Lighting Decor Ideas. What's going on my little rock stars? Hope you guys are doing wonderful out there. This is gonna be a two part, two part uh, video basically. I'm gonna separate the two videos. You're not gonna see it all in this one. So the next video after you watch this one is gonna be another one. Now, uh, first what you're gonna be seeing right now is going to be something I recorded probably about a month ago. Um, and I wanted to try to get the idea out there of when you are getting, and I have to kind of re re-deliver the message uh, so, supposedly and that's because I was watching the video and I was like what the heck am I saying I'm not coming across as clear as I wanted to be I already know and I was thinking about it I was watching the video again I said I'm not really clear on my message so I'm telling you now I'm gonna cut off a lot of the beginning part of it and I'm inserting this part to give you the direct message basically what I was trying to say was it doesn't matter what lights you have it doesn't matter what lights you have if you're gonna be using your lights for a wedding or event or something like that in different facilities, the most important thing you need to remember is that not every facility is gonna be the same. So you do want, turn that light on, okay? And you wanna put it on different objects, different um, platforms, different walls. They have different textures to it. It may be kind of like a ripple effect. It may be different paint. Uh, the paint may be eggshell like you see behind me or it may be some type of shiny shimmer has some gloss to it it doesn't it doesn't matter you have to turn that light on my point what i was trying to say was you have to turn that light on and put it on different things it may be outdoors it may be on plants or trees it may be on different uh signs or different thing of that nature with different colors you may be applying it to different colors it's not always going to be a white wall that you're gonna be putting it on. It may be brown, it may be pinkish, it may be beige, amber, who knows what the colors are gonna be. You need to still deliver that same color that the bride or the event is calling for. For example, let's say burgundy or pink, and you wanna see if it works well on a brown wall. You don't know that. So when you go out to these venues, you go take a look, or you talk to your bride, or you're hired or booked, and you have to go put some lighting up, you might want, want, wanna go ahead and grab, take a light with you, and take it to the facility and see the different areas, see what's the majority of texture of the walls or the barn, who knows what it is. And you're gonna wanna put light to it and see if it's gonna work well in that area. Um, that can kind of save you a lot of trouble going with maybe 20, 30, 40 up lights and you really don't really even need them. Or you may not even need a whole bunch of them. So that was the point I was trying to get across, but here's a few places that I went to go visit to try to put up different uh, lights on different things with different paints, different colors, and different textures, and I hope you can enjoy. Right after this video is gonna be another lighting decor ideas, and the reason why I wanted to put two up today is because I have been lagging a little bit on the videos coming out, and I think you guys deserve an extra video. And with that said, the second video that you're gonna go see, please don't forget to like, subscribe on this one, and don't forget to hit that little bell in the corner so you can get notified of some other ones if I do bring out some extras for you guys. Uh, but the other video that you're gonna see, don't forget to go ahead and like it, like on that one too. I'm gonna put out a couple different series of the second video that you'll be seeing. Just go watch it, but watch this one first. Thank you so much, and love and respect all people and all things living. All right, enjoy, take care. It doesn't matter what kind of lights that you have at this particular point, you got them, great. Good for you, man, go rock it. But at this point, you want to make sure that your lighting is gonna look good on different platforms. The most common one is gonna be a white wall or maybe kind of like a cream or kind of a tan khaki color wall. So here's a quick sample of why you wanna make sure you test them on different pieces of fabric and different pieces of platforms. For example, this could be kind of like a shiny white, or it can be kind of like an eggshell painted white, which it is an eggshell painted white. It could have grooves in it, it could have different things of that nature, you don't know. You may have facilities that have those type of um, the edging on the walls that's gonna block the lighting completely, and it's not gonna allow it to travel up all the way up the wall. It's not gonna look all that great when you're putting lighting up. Or you could just maybe trick it a little bit, pull it out, maybe about four to six inches from the wall. So it only blocks off just the hair and you get most of your lighting still splashing up above the wall. 
But here's another thing I want you to do. Light up a bunch of different things with your new lights that you just got. Light up a bunch of different fabric. Go outside, light up some outdoor stuff. Light up some uh, material. Light up yourself, your clothing. Uh, light up some plastic. Light up things around your, your home. Don't, don't get things into a fire. I mean, don't, don't get yourself in trouble, but you just wanna light up different things around your home. For example, start with your wall. Then, light up a wall with some artwork on it. You are gonna run into a bunch of different obstacles. When you come to with your lighting, you're gonna be really excited and happy to use it for the first time, maybe the second, third, or fourth time that you're going to an event or the type of location that you're gonna be using your lighting at. And you're gonna run into some type of hiccups on how your lighting is gonna look good. Is it gonna be blocked? Is it gonna shine enough up on the wall? Uh, things of that nature. You may have to put them in certain locations that you really don't want to, and things of that nature. So we'll look at other things like that, but right now I want you to light up as much different fabric, material, and different styles of walls that you can, just to get a general idea of the way you would set it up when you walk into a facility. Let's look at some other things as well too. Light up some trees outdoors, preferably at nighttime because your lights aren't really gonna give you that much uh, punch of light in the, during the sunlight. even uh, light up the CW Atlanta at satellites. Maybe up light a little gazebo. You can also light your city's uh, town sign. Right over here we got Midtown. There's different colors on it too, so you can kind of see the color patterns that you can create from one color to the next. Alright, so here what I want you to take a look behind me is we have two sets of pillars together here, two sets of pillars together here. The difference is that we have these pillars are kind of arched, they have an angle to them. So depending on the type of wall that you're going to be using or the type of material, the bend that you may have, you may want to turn it just a little bit. Here we have them facing straight up and they're just laying on their backs. Or these ones are actually arched a little bit. So if you look at the difference, yes, we're getting a good amount of light. And I'll show you in just a second the distance. But here these are actually arched towards the arch itself. They're arched just a little bit. If you see that, they're turned just a little bit. And you get so much more punch of light. I mean, just take that few seconds out of your time to make sure you angle it right. And not only that, but if you look closely, they're centered. They're not off to the side, just a few inches or off this way. They're even amount of space between the lines of the pillar. Just make sure you center them. Take that few seconds out of your time, make sure you center them.